So you have installed Ubuntu on a virtual machine with VirtualBox, okay? but you have some problems because, for example, if you try to resize the screen and put full screen, well, the Ubuntu doesn't resize, okay? It has just one size and it doesn't resize automatically. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix that issue. And so first, I'm going to show you the process if you have just installed Ubuntu and you also have a recent version of VirtualBox. And then if that's not working for you, well, at the end of the video, I also have put some more explanations and some more steps to do so you can make it work finally. So let's start from the beginning. So the first thing you are going to do is you are going to open a terminal. So you go here on applications and you can search for terminal. So you're going to open a terminal and you're going to do sudo apt update. Okay, you have to put the password for the user you have created and then that's going to update the sources. Okay, and once you see that, you can do sudo apt upgrade. That's going to upgrade so you can uh, put Y for yes and press enter. That's going to upgrade all the packages you have on Ubuntu. So that's the first thing to do, upgrade everything. So that can take quite a long time depending on how many packages you have to upgrade. And then you have to install a few more packages, okay? And those packages, so you are going to do sudo apt install, and those packages are Perl, GCC, and DKMS. So you just type this command, you press enter, okay? You put yes again, enter, you wait until it's correctly installed. Okay, and once it is done, so when you are back to here, the command line, you can just close the terminal and you are going to install the guest addition CD image. So you're going to go to devices here. So on the virtual box window, devices, insert guest additions CD image. So you click on that and you're gonna have something new. So you're gonna have the disk here, you can see, and you're gonna click on run. This is going to ask you for the password. So you put your password, you authenticate. It's going to open a terminal and you just wait here for the installation. And that's going to take a few seconds, maybe one minute or two. And you should see that text, something like that. And at the end, price return to close this window. And you can also see that the module will not be replaced until the system is restarted. So you just press enter here. And now, so you can see it's not working. So what you have to do is restart. So you can go um, here, click on that, and then uh, you can do power of the machine. Okay. And let's, so I have, this is my virtual machine. Let's restart the virtual machine. Okay, you go back to the desktop and now look at that. If I do full screen, well, that's not working. So what you have to do, so depends. Sometimes it's going to work the first time, sometimes not. So what you can do is right click here, eject, and then you're going to go back again to insert guest addition CD image. So you're gonna do it twice basically. So you click on run, put your password again. You're gonna wait again. Okay, and when you see that, you can press uh, enter again. You can also, if you want, eject the uh, disk because you don't need any more. And let's power of the machine once again. Let's start it once again. And now you should see that the window automatically resizes. So the Ubuntu automatically resizes. So make sure that if it's not working the first time, eject okay, the uh, CD and then just run the CD again, okay? So now it's correctly working. And the thing is that if after doing this, the exact same steps, it is still not working, well, that is maybe because you need to uh, upgrade your version of the guest addition CD image. And to do that, because maybe you have installed a VirtualBox quite a few weeks or months or years ago. So if you don't have a recent installation, well, the easy, Step is, so I'm going to quit this. You can go to your applications, so 
So you can type program on the bar and search for add or remove programs okay, in your settings. That's going to open this and you can search for virtual box here. I'm going to uninstall virtual box. Uninstall. Okay, so uninstalling virtual box is not going to remove any of your virtual machine. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. So you just uninstall it. Okay, first maybe I need to close that. It's better. And click on OK. You have a pop up, you click on Yes. Okay, and then you just type VirtualBox on Google. So you just reinstall VirtualBox with whatever is the latest version. You select your host. So here I'm using Windows. So you save that. Once it is downloaded, you can just run the executable to install VirtualBox again. And that's going to install the latest version with the latest guest addition CD image. I'm going to uncheck that. Okay, so if you have a pop-up, you also click on yes. Okay, and you finish the installation. Now you can search and launch the VirtualBox again. And you will see you are back to here with every virtual machine that you have previously created. So now you can start again the virtual machine, which was not working for the uh, resize. Okay, and here, of course, that's working for me because it was already working before. But for you, what you can do is, so make sure you have ejected the CD and just run this again. So insert the guest addition CD image, which should now be a latest version, which should work for you. And just follow the previous steps once or twice, and it should work at the end. So to recap here, first you have to open the terminal, upgrade your packages, install three new packages, which are GCC, Perl, and DKMS. Okay. Then you have to go on devices, insert the guest addition CD image, and just follow the process. What you can do then is eject the disk, restart your virtual machine. If it's still not working, you just do this step once more. So you insert the CD image, run the process, eject, reboot. And if it's still not working because maybe you have an older version of VirtualBox with an older version of the guest addition CD image, you just uninstall and you just reinstall VirtualBox. That's super easy and super quick to do. And you repeat the process of inserting the CD once or twice, and that should work. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Linux command line step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.